Today we're checking out the cheapest mini PC ever created on God's green earth. Uh, no, not really. But the GMK Tech G3 caught my eye as the lowest price N100 mini out there. So of course, I had to check it out. At around 140 US dollars in its smallest configuration, the price is definitely right. But is the performance there to back it up? We'll go over it and more right after this short message. The EZUS Rec Experts screen recorder is an all-in-one solution for recording everything on your screen, whether it's online meetings, gameplay, tutorials, and more. Rec Expert supports 4K and 60fps in various video formats, and there are plenty of additional features, including a simple video editor to clean up your recording. Give it a test run with the link in the video description. GMK Tech's G3 is rocking Intel's popular N100 budget CPU, a 4-core chip with UHD graphics, good for everyday computing, and has some great media capabilities. It's housed in this simple plastic box. What surprised me the most is how light it is, at 267 grams. While I wouldn't expect too much around this price tag, the plastic case is pretty solid with little creaking. The smallest configuration G3 can be found for 135 to 140 US dollars on Amazon, depending on discounts and coupons, which makes it the cheapest N100 Mini I've reviewed yet. It's available in green and gray colors, and also has a bare bones option on the official website if you want to add your own memory, storage, and OS. Inside the box is a HDMI cord, power supply, and monitor mount. The port selection is very straightforward. A power button and dual USB 3 on the front. It's not specified what speed, so I'm assuming 5 gigabit. There's another dual USB 3 on the back, again, not specified. Along with dual HDMI 2.0, Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and barrel jack power input. So no USB-C or triple monitor support with this one. Opening it is easy enough. Pull on each side of the top lid with some force to dislodge it. Inside is the M.2 NVMe SSD. No heatsink on this one. There's also another M.2 SATA slot for a 2242 size drive if you want to add more storage. I certainly didn't expect that. The Realtek 8852BE Wi-Fi 6 card is underneath the NVMe drive. There's one DDR4 slot which holds the memory, since all older Lake N chips only support single channel memory. Windows 11 Pro comes pre-installed, as long as you don't get the bare bones option. It seems to have had some small modifications, such as removing the need to create a Microsoft account during setup, and some desktop icon changes. I scanned it for any nasties, and it came up clean. Ubuntu works fine on this one, as it has on every N100 Mini tested so far. The benchmarks for the G3 are interesting. There's some BIOS tweaks needed to get it to run at maximum performance. Single core performance isn't great by default. And thanks to Minix, I recently found out that enabling C states in the BIOS fixes it. And it does that here too. So how much faster is it? Well, just shy of 18%. I don't know why C states isn't enabled by default. Multi-core performance out of the box is okay, but you can up the power limit in the BIOS for a bit more, which does increase CPU temp and power draw. It's just over a 9% increase. And in video encoding, there's a slightly higher performance uplift. So we're off to a good start, as long as you don't mind spending a couple of minutes changing settings in the BIOS beforehand, which I'll show you how to do a little later. In the 3 d Mark graphics benchmark, whether it's DX11 or DX12, the G3 performs pretty much like you'd expect from an Intel N100 using DDR4 memory. Like most Intel N100 minis, this one is running the NVMe SSD drive at X2 speeds, and the included drive is maxing out sequential reads and writes. So by my count, I've reviewed 17 Intel N100 minis so far so I know a little about the CPU and the minis running them. And instead of doing the same game and multimedia tests on this one, I'm going to give you a rundown on what the N100 can do reasonably well. You can use the N100 as an office PC for 4K60 video playback, photo and 1080p video editing, 1080p Minecraft, 
Roblox. Valorant. League of Legends. You should wait for more of your minions to arrive before bouncing. 720p, Grand Theft Auto 5. PS2 emulation. GameCube. And Nintendo Wii. So that should cover a wide range of scenarios. To tweak the BIOS, mash the delete key when you turn on the mini. The G3 has a fancy visual BIOS. Head to the advanced tab, power and performance. CPU power management control. Head down to C states and enable it. To increase multi-core performance, head to the power tab and change the power limit to 15 watt base. Don't forget to save and exit. Oh, and the G3 does support wake on LAN and auto power on. The G3 draws more power at idle than most of the other N100 minis I've tested, which also extends to the max power draw. It's a bit higher than most. Max CPU temperature depends on which power mode you use and holds up decently in both. While the GMK Tech G3 is a quiet mini PC at idle, that's not the case under load compared to the competition. Probably the worst part is that the fan ramps up and down quite often instead of having a more stable RPM. Even though there isn't a heatsink on the included NVMe drive, the SSD didn't thermal throttle during my thrash test. While this temp is on the higher side, it's not as much of an issue like it was with say the Morphine M9. So conclusion time. The price point of the GMK Tech G3 is the lowest I could find for an N100 on Amazon.com, but it is a smaller memory and storage configuration than most N100 minis listed on there. So that's something to keep in mind when comparing them. Performance is great once BIOS tweaks are added. It has an extra M.2 2242 SATA SSD slot, which is a bonus I didn't expect. Same with the M.2 Wi-Fi 6 card and 2.5 gigabit LAN. These are usually more premium features, but C states should have been enabled by default in the BIOS. There's no USB-C and fan noise under load is louder than many of the higher priced minis. It also ramps up and down, which is more annoying than steady noise levels. So it's not the quietest, it doesn't have the best cooling, but for the price you get great performance once you tweak the BIOS. And if your budget is limited to 150 US dollars or less, or you just want the cheapest mini with a current gen processor that isn't a pile of crap, then the GMK Tech G3 is a viable option for you. But if you want something more mid-range that can even handle 4K video editing well, check out the GMK Tech Knuckbox K7 right here. Cheers!